All right, this was a lot of work, cutting all these drawer parts and pieces. So now it's time to start doing a little assembly. You saw me cut the bases to the proper width and length, and then to uh, dado them in. And then I went and measured and set up for all the sides. I started with the deepest and worked my way down to get the most efficient use of material. The uh, other drawers on the right side, the ones that are wider and longer as well as taller, I went ahead and made all of those after I made the bases. I made all of those up and installed them uh, because that was going to take the biggest pieces of wood and I knew I'd be working to the bottom of my pile. So uh, next, what I'm going to do to keep the production moving and make this as efficient as possible, I'm going to go and take out the fronts, uh, one front for each drawer, and set up and cut the um, pull. With all the pulls uh, routed, what I want to do now is round over the edges on the inside and out before I begin assembly. Um, it's a lot easier now, obviously it's quicker to go through the stack, but also on the inside, especially on these narrow ones, I couldn't get the router once I assembled inside to, to cover that. So it'll be quick work to go ahead and knock these out ahead of time. The next thing I want to do is take all of the sides and lay out where the screws are going to go and pre-drill uh, with, a, with a countersink bit, although I'm not going to countersink through because the screws I'm using uh, will countersink themselves. So I'm just going to sort of cut a pilot hole uh, more for layout than anything else, but it'll give me a good starter point. And so I, as I'm you know, putting these drawers together, I can quickly move through them. So this is one of the cases where in production is a little monotonous, but by going through and doing one step after another, as I move through and do assembly, I can move quickly and not stop and pull out the tape measure and do the layout. So a little more time right now, save a lot of time in the future. So I laid out one uh, uh, of the sides of this height and then I'm using that as a template to do all the rest and then each of these sides uh, I have uh, two more widths or two more depths and I'll lay those out and do the same so I'll just go through these and get them all pre-drilled. It is nice to finally be done with all those drawer parts. Next up, I will assemble them, sand them, and get them ready to install. The trailer is turning out beautiful. I'm excited for you guys to see it. 
Um, obviously, I'm, I'm way further ahead than the videos are showing, but it's hours and hours of video, and I have to get through it as well as finish the trailer at the same time and keep doing uh, the rest of my work as well. It seems uh, it's taken me about an hour per minute of video to get these uh, broken down and edited. So I'm getting through them as quick as I can, but I think you guys will really like the finished product. Well, if you do like these videos, please uh, click on the subscribe button here in the video or go over to the Paul Combs YouTube channel and click on subscribe there. There's a lot of, lot of great videos and a lot more content that you'll have access to. Plus, you'll be notified when I post other videos. Also, share them with your woodworking buddies, you know, on your forums and, and on your social media. And if you'd like to build yourself one of the workbenches you see me using in these videos, click right here in the link in this video or at the link in the description. And once you get to my website, click on the Paul Combs store link, choose the plan or package of plans that you'd like, and in just a few minutes, you'll receive an email. Scroll down to the very bottom of that email and you will see a link that you can click on and a password. You can download the plans immediately. And also, if you do build yourself one of my, one of my workbenches, I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you'd send me a photo. I uh, have a Pinterest page and a Facebook page just for the workbenches. And it's great to see all the workbenches from, from all over the planet. Thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day.